This is the fourth video in the series designed to help you quickly configure eSignal software for trading through TT at Gateway Capital. In this video, you'll learn about the dictionary in more depth, preset order defaults, and end with basic trade entry and order management. We'll also end with contact information so you can promptly get specific answers to questions you might have about eSignal, the TT interface, or our relationship with Gateway Capital. The dictionary is a powerful tool that supports your ability to quickly enter trades and manage your orders. To identify a contract, eSignal uses the root, for example, ES for the S&P E-mini, followed by the month and year, for example, H for March and 8 for 2008. TT does too, but includes additional information such as exchange and the currency the contract's quoted in. Pre-setting the two lets you establish controls in advance that results in more efficient and accurate trade and order management. Let's walk through an example in real time. Suppose we want to trade the E-mini Russell 2000. I've entered it in eSignal using their symbology of ABH8 and using their decision support tools I'm ready to open a long position. I can most efficiently enter an order to buy using the ask as my limit price by double clicking the ask price. Because we haven't yet associated eSignal's Russell 2000 symbol with TT's, starting the order process by double clicking the ask prompts the edit symbol dialog, pre-populating the first line with the eSignal symbol. To identify TT's symbol, click the ellipse button on the second line. TT uses the exchange's root ER2, so we'll enter that in the symbol field. Select Future and click the Load button. In these rare cases of differing symbology, we can also identify contracts available through TT by leaving the symbol field blank. Selecting Future as the asset type Entering the exchange, in this case, TT SIM, and clicking load. Notice all the contracts and currencies they're quoted in that TT makes available in their simulated gateway. We'll next select ER2, confirm the month, year, US dollar currency and click OK, and then accept. Before continuing, remember that once we've associated the symbol of a contract used by eSignal with that of TT, we've fixed the two and can therefore trade more efficiently and accurately. Now, let's enter the trade by clicking the Submit button at the bottom of the order ticket. The result of entering the trade can be seen in the Message tab, where I was notified that my order was indeed placed and that it was filled. Similar but more detailed information can be seen in my Orders, Executions, and Positions tab. Let's enter another order to buy below the market to demonstrate eSignal's order management feature. To do this, I'll ready a buy order by holding down the control key and double clicking the S&P E-mini's bid. Remember, I can choose whether double-clicking the bid creates a buy order or a sell order by either holding the control key down or not. The bid price is used as the price for my limit order, so to ensure I'm not filled right away, I'll reduce it by several ticks. I can either manually change the price or, more quickly and accurately, offset the price by clicking the link titled Change, where I'll reduce the price by five ticks then click Submit. Because the order is below the market and therefore hasn't been filled, it won't appear in either the Execution or the Positions tab, just in the Order tab. This is where we can manage a live order. We can identify that it is a live order. We can identify that it's a live working order to buy one S&P E-mini contract at a limit price of 1340.25. Good for the day. Watch the Modify and Cancel Order icon to activate when I select a working order with my mouse. Let's review both. First, single-clicking the Modified Order icon. First, single-clicking the Modify Order icon prompts the order ticket for that order, allowing me to change the quantity, its limit price, or the time in force.
I'll increase the quantity by single clicking the change command next to quantity and increase it by two contracts and click submit. Now I have a working order to buy three contracts at the previous price, done efficiently and accurately with a handful of mouse clicks. To cancel this order, we'll single click the cancel order button and watch the state canceled. Suppose I wanted to get an immediate fill on that order. I would have used the change command to increase the price above the ask, thereby guaranteeing a fill at that new higher limit price or better, or no fill at all. Now, let's see how eSignal's TT interface can quickly close positions we've opened in their Gateway Capital account. Clicking the Positions tab, we can see that we're long one of the Russell 2000 E-minis by highlighting, then single-clicking the close position icon, I'm able to quickly and efficiently close positions. Finally, let's review order defaults. Order defaults give you the power to further customize the TT interface and eSignal for any variety of contracts or asset classes you might trade. We can access order defaults by clicking the icon in the Account Manager. In the lower left corner of the Edit Order Defaults dialog, there's a drop-down menu listing all contracts that have been entered into the dictionary. Let's first select the S&P E-mini. Then we'll assign an order type of market and a quantity of 5. And then click Add. Now, let's select the Russell 2000. We'll change the order type to Limit and the quantity to 2. And we'll increase the time in force, or expiration, and click Add. Now, let's see how presetting order defaults can improve your trading. But before we do, I'm going to bypass the order ticket so we can see just how quickly TT's interface at Gateway Capital processes and reports on orders and position changes. Remember, we're in a simulated trading environment, and it's strongly recommended that you become very familiar with eSignal's TT trading interface at Gateway Capital and its features, like the dictionary, order defaults, and the order and position management icons before bypassing the order ticket, which gives you a chance to change or cancel the trade before it's placed. To bypass the order ticket, click the Trade button and select Confirmations. As reviewed in Video 3, the top checkbox controls whether the order ticket appears when initiating orders from the quote, market depth, or option chain window. The checkbox on the bottom controls whether the order ticket appears when initiating orders from the attached order ticket. Let's uncheck the top box and click Accept. Now, let's return to the quote window. Remember, for the S&P E-mini, we've preset the order to be a market order for five contracts. In the Account Manager's Position tab, watch the quantity field increase by five contracts every time I double-click the E-mini's ask. The default is a buy order. Also, remember that the default action when double-clicking the bid is a sell order, so I can leg out of my position five contracts at a time by double-clicking the bid. Also, if I wanted to keep my mouse positioned over the bid and alternate between buying and selling, I could hold down the control key to change the action to a buy and vice versa with the ask. Now, let's close the position with a single mouse click. Click on the close position icon. Pretty effective. Now, if that's a lot of information to process in one sitting, you can see why we strongly recommend practicing and using eSignal's TT trading interface with Gateway Capital's simulation mode until it becomes second nature if you're going to bypass the order ticket. However, if you do, you can see how quickly you can enter and change orders, open and close positions, all with single clicks of your mouse using eSignal. Now, some contact information. If you have any comments about this video series, how eSignal interfaces with the TT installation at Gateway Capital, or want to get started, send an email to trading at quote.com. If you want to be part of the beta test and provide usability and beta test feedback, please contact tradingbeta at quote.com. Include your email address, phone number, and if you're already an eSignal subscriber, your customer ID number. In the next video, We'll explore more trade and order management styles, including bracket trades.